Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 25H2 preview build in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program, which is the build 26200.5761. And in this video, we're gonna talk about this build because we have some new interesting features, improvements, and also fixes. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, let's talk about the new AI features as well we're always doing related to click to do Microsoft is adding a new option whereby pressing and holding two fingers on your screen on your Copilot plus PC of course you can simultaneously launch click to do select the entity under your finger and see relevant actions related to the agent and settings Microsoft now provides a direct navigation link to the corresponding settings page from the agent search results and also related to automatic super resolution on of course Snapdragon powered Copilot plus PCs Microsoft have simplified the settings controls and added streamlined ways to configure auto SR directly from Toast notifications. Now talking about normal users and normal computers, Microsoft is adding the ability to resume apps from Android phone on your PC. And to start with, they're implementing this feature with Spotify. Of course, this is slowly rolling out. You may not see it right away. Unfortunately, I don't have it here on my computer. But what you need to do, first of all, start listening to one of your favorite songs or episodes on the Spotify app on your Android phone. And on your computer, a resume alert will appear on your taskbar. When you click on that alert, Spotify's desktop app will open and the same track will now continue playing on your PC. To try and enable this, even though it may not be enabled at the start, but try these steps to have the best chances of having this new feature. Of course, you're going to have to turn on access to your phone by going into the settings app and Bluetooth and devices and then mobile devices and make sure that allow this PC to access your mobile devices is turned on. And if you click on manage devices, of course, you're going to start the process of connecting your computer to the link to Windows app on your phone. Of course, you're going to need that set up also on your phone and after that you can try the feature just open up Spotify on your phone play a track or episode and you should see a resume alert on your PC's taskbar Microsoft is also improving the battery icon on the lock screen basically those new and improved battery icons that we have on our desktop on laptops we now have them also on the lock screen in Windows 11 I think that is pretty nice related to input Microsoft is also adding a new keyboard shortcut to make it easier for you to insert an EN dash or EM dash while typing anywhere in Windows going forward press the Windows plus minus will insert EM dash and Windows shift plus minus will insert EM dash. Related to Windows share in the last few dev and beta channel flights, Microsoft have begun trying out the ability to pin your favorite apps in the Windows share window. And I don't have that unfortunately enabled, but basically you're going to have here in the top right corner, a button that will let you pin your favorite app. Talking about fixes in this build related to the settings app, Microsoft did some work to help improve performance of loading the apps list inside apps and then the installed apps page. And they'll also fixed an issue causing the new copy current user settings to the welcome screen and system accounts under time and language, language and region option to crash settings for some insiders. Related to Windows Hello, Microsoft did some work to address an issue where Windows Hello might recognize your face on the login screen. However, it would still fail and then prompt you to enter your PIN. Also a fix for developers, the issue causing Visual Studio to crash on ARM64 PCs when running various scenarios that depend on the Windows presentation foundation will be fixed after installing the newest .NET update. And also another fix. Microsoft did some underlying work to help improve performance when gaming with game bar or other overlays on top of your game. This may particularly help those with multiple monitors which have different refresh rates. The good news about this build is that we don't have any new known issues, so in that aspect we're good to go. But of course, if you want to find more information about this build, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zoom from TechBase, until next time. Have a nice day.